So people love to complain, especially car enthusiasts. The 2024 Dark Horse is a perfect example. It's too expensive. I hate the carbon fiber wheels. It's too expensive. I hate the dash. And did I mention it's possibly too expensive? Well, if you're one of those people complaining, trust me, the manufacturers are listening. Today we have exclusive information on a brand new model guaranteed to make all the complainers happy. Today we're here to tell you all about the 2024 Light Horse Edition. That's right, it's just like the Dark Horse, but completely different. All the things you guys are complaining about were addressed. Let's talk about some of the highlights. So let's talk about carbon fiber wheels. You know, some of the obvious things that are wrong with carbon fiber wheels are that they're extremely light and extremely strong. Well, the light horse fixes that problem. It gets rid of those pesky carbon fiber wheels and replaces them with some good old fashioned steel wheels. That's right, 20 inch steel wheels at all four corners. I mean, they weigh as much as an NFL linebacker, but you know what? They're gonna be cheaper and they're gonna have a great patina look to your brand new car. Let's move on to the interior in that awful LCD gauge cluster. Man, who wants a gauge cluster that's configurable, will tell you 50 different things, including your speed, oil pressure, all this wonderful information at the touch of a fingertip. We know that's not for you. That's why the light horse gets rid of it. That's right, that cluster goes away and is replaced with an old school five inch monster tack with a shift light. So who cares about anything else? As long as you know RPMs, you are good to go. And that shift light is not just a shift light, it also doubles as your gas gauge. That's right, when you get low on fuel, around 240 miles to empty, that light's gonna turn on and stay on the whole time, letting you know it's time to get gas eventually. Speaking of screens, let's talk about that big infotainment system in the center of the dash. I mean, who wants a nice big LCD screen that tells you everything about the car and allows you to control things like your heat, your air conditioning, your stereo, your navigation, heated seats? Who wants all that at the touch of a button? We don't, so we got rid of it. The Light Horse is gonna give you a big plastic panel with a strip of Velcro. Take your phone, stick it right there, and it gives you all the information you need. Make sure you download our Horses S app. It's $9.99 plus $2.99 a month, and it'll give you the screen and make it look just like the screen of a vintage rental car. Again, we don't need big screens in our Light Horse. All you need is your cell phone. So now let's go where it counts, and that is under the hood. And that's where the Light Horse really, really shines. So your Dark Horse, modern engine, 500 horsepower, dual throttle body, dual inlet, and excellent gas mileage. All things we don't want from under the hood of the Light Horse. The Light Horse fixes that with a worn out old small block pushrod motor we picked up off a of marketplace. Now the seller assures us this engine runs great, has a built bottom boss end with a three quarter race cam and makes tons of power. With those heavy steel wheels and all that power, you should have no trouble keeping up with traffic in most school zones. So the last thing we address with the Light Horse is the looks. Everybody says the Dark Horse looks like a Camaro, which it doesn't, but everybody seems to think it does. So what do we do with the Light Horse? We installed Camaro body panels. That's right, quarter panels, fenders, and a front bumper off the Camaro. So when someone says your Light Horse looks like a Camaro, you can tell them because it is a Camaro. Again, this new 2024 Camaro Light Horse, spelling optional, will be available at shady car dealers near you starting on April 1st. 